And Travis, so what does it mean when we say we're going to provide the best ERAS or some kind of way to diminish postoperative pain in my extremely sensitive patient population? No. What does it mean uh, to to deliver that highest level of care to to your patients and minimize you know any it, as many of the complications and, and issues uh, that can arise uh, after surgery from pain to nausea all of those things it, it really our focus has shifted to this early recovery after surgery or ERAS protocol and it's it, it's work extremely well in your patient population. And one thing we've done as an anesthesia group is we've taken all of these providers from level one trauma centers, heart hospitals, um, doing big cases at the hospitals on very, very sick patients and taking these very detail-oriented approaches to solving very complex issues that arise in sick patient populations. And then we've brought those techniques into the outpatient surgery world. And now we can use those with your patients and those center around minimizing narcotics, decreasing post-operative nausea and vomiting, decreasing pain through multimodal pathways. And we can talk more about that in here, here in just a few minutes, basically meaning that we're using a bunch of different medications to, to stop and block pain um, at the site and systemically, rather than just relying on a bunch of narcotic medications making you sleepy and not feel good and then sending you home afterwards. So we put a huge emphasis on hydration, pre and post-op. We've kind of done every, we've fine-tuned every, you know, facet of the surgical experience and the, the pre-op and post-op uh, surgical experience we possibly could.